when you think about environmental justice communities, uh, there are communities that for uh, generations have not had the focus on them. We as a society have uh, uh, not really, uh, you know, taken as seriously as, as, as we should have. We knew that it was really all about the money and not about actually um, filling anybody's needs. It does say, you know, whether somebody cares about you or doesn't care about you. It can be a lot of um, smoke and mirrors. So I think it, it is up to legislation um, to be put in to protect these communities. Environmental justice communities exist all throughout Massachusetts in both urban and rural areas. Earlier this year, on March 26th, Governor Charlie Baker signed new climate change legislation for the state a bill titled, An Act Creating a Next Generation Roadmap for Massachusetts Climate Policy. This bill recognizes the significant impact of climate change on environmental justice communities and expands protections on these vulnerable communities from big corporations that are looking to exploit them. Now we can, we can actually look at environmental justice and see whether or not environmental justice is an, is an area the city needs to pay attention to people, for example, that had uh, homes that were uh, white that would have to uh, uh, periodically go out and spray down the outside of their house. That's how bad, uh, you know, the air quality was in that area. In Saugus, the state's oldest incinerator sits on a conservation area, and both the water and air pollution have affected the surrounding communities since the 1970s. Many residents suspect that it has significantly contributed to high cancer rates and other health and environmental issues. In the Boston neighborhood of Roxbury, government negligence and a general lack of support have left residents feeling alone and abandoned by those meant to serve them. And there's a whole history of the neighborhood just organizing back in the 80s and, and 90s still, right? About like the impact of having trash transfer centers right in your backyard. There were days when you could smell it, where you could smell, you know, like the, the, the trash just being sort of stored and, 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 and sort of um, handled not that far from where I live. The fact that people um, have immigrant status certainly becomes a barrier for, you know, again, advocating for yourself and for your community. Despite these issues, groups like South Coast Neighbors United have been advocating for improvement and hope that this bill is a step in the right direction. There are there are stipulations in there, provisions in there that are stronger towards the protection of environmental justice communities. So um, when once it's enforced and enacted and clarified so that um, all of those communities know what those parameters are, um, companies like Parallel and Eversource, they're not going to be able to just come right in through the back, slip through the back door and get things rubber stamped as easily as they have in the past. They're not going to be able to continue to exploit communities that really just can't, can't afford any more pollution. Hopefully this bill will really be the impetus to get these offices to now come back and protect communities. The legislation is historic when we actually recognize it and name it and, and put it in a bill. It, uh, it sends a message out to everyone that this is something that's important and must be paid attention to. It's important to, I mean, uh, certainly create opportunities and provide resources to, to the younger, the younger um, generation. Environmental justice is not just about the environment. It's not just about sort of health. It's about education, right? It's about having access to resources. This legislation shows the need for action in facing climate change in Massachusetts. In towns like Saugus, inaction is disastrous to the well-being of these vulnerable populations. This is a great start, but it's just a start, and we're, we're going to be watching it and making sure that it actually is implemented and enforced.